An atom is the smallest particle into which an element can be divided and still be the same element. Atoms are building blocks of matter. They make up everything around you. Individual atoms are too small to be seen. To give an idea how small an atom is, one penny is made up of about 2 times 10 to the 22nd atoms. An atom is the smallest unit of an element. It consists of a central nucleus surrounded by one or more electrons. In the center there is a proton and a neutron, and on the outside there is an electron that is an orbit called a shell. The nucleus is a central part of an atom. It's composed of protons and neutrons and contains most of the atom's mass. A proton is a positively charged particle and is found within the atom's nucleus. A neutron is an uncharged particle and also found within the atom's nucleus. An electron is a negatively charged particle located in the shells that surround the atom's nucleus. All elements must contain identically charged electrons. We know this from the cathode experiment from J.J. Thompson in the late 19th century. Atoms are neutral, so there must be a positive particle in the atom to balance out the negative charge from the electron. Electrons have so little mass that the atom must contain other particles to account for most of the mass. The modern atomic thought began with John Dalton. Dalton used experimental methods to transform Democritus' ideas of atoms into scientific theory. Dalton studied the ratios in which elements combined and the results were Dalton's atomic theory. In 1808, John Dalton proposed atomic theory. Dalton's theory explained several laws known at the time, which were the law of conservation of matter, the law of definite proportions, and the law of multiple proportions. The following is Dalton's atomic theory of 1808. Number one, elements are made of tiny particles called atoms. Number two, atoms of a given element are identical. Number three, atoms of different elements differ from each other in some fundamental way. Number four, atoms of one element can join with atoms of another element to form compounds. A given compound is always made of the same elements combined in the same way. This explains the law of multiple proportions and the law of definite composition. Number five, Atoms are indivisible in a chemical reaction. Chemical reactions change how atoms are grouped together. This explains the law of conservation of matter.